Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Delivers Ministry here in Maryland. And today I want to talk to you about an incident that happened in Georgia where a man went into three different massage parlors. And these were Asian massage parlors. And he shot up a lot of the employees. I think I believe he shot up some customers as well. And the reason for it, initially people thought it was because uh, it was an issue of uh, hate crime, a hate crime or racism. But it turns out that it wasn't that. In fact, it was a, a, an issue of sexual addiction. And so this man thought that if he went to the massage parlors and shut up the employees, that he would get rid of his sexual addiction. So now the question is, how does sexual addiction start? It starts innocently. You stumble into pornography, and then you know you start looking at regular pornography, and then before you 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 know it, you go into more hardcore type of pornography, until it gets to the point of pedophilia, and then. A lot of times, this fantasy lust, this stuff that you're looking at on 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 your computer or whatever you're looking at it on your TV, uh, you know, it gets to you, and you want to actually realize some of the things that you're seeing uh, in in the computer because it doesn't satisfy you anymore. And so, these people start looking for sex in different places, like massage parlors, you know, prostitution, escorts, and things like that, to satisfy their need. So, obviously, this man felt awful about about having um, a sexual addiction. So how does a man go from having a sexual addiction to killing someone? Okay, so some people will say this is a mental illness. The possibility it is, but more than likely this is demonic in nature, okay? We have a lot of people that come to us with sexual addiction, we pray for them and they stop. I mean, they've done some awful things, okay? And so prayer helps them. So if this man was to come to a deliverance ministry instead of going to a massage parlor, and shooting up employees who are trying to make a living for themselves, if they would have came to us, right, and they would have received prayer, we would have helped them with counseling and prayer, with, through the living prayers, liberate this person, help this person get away from this cycle of addiction. Uh, people think there's no harm in pornography. There's a lot of harm, and people just don't realize it. You know, we see a lot of children being exposed to pornography. Mentally, mentally, it, it, it destroys them mentally so i ask you that uh, you know if you know somebody that um is suffering from sexual addiction or has been exposed to pornography at a very young age or be molested uh please have them contact our ministry we would love to help you and you know if this gentleman would reach out to somebody like me that would have never happened that person would have never killed anybody would have you know obviously i don't know if this guy was a believer or not but obviously you could tell that that's the devil speaking to him you know, get rid of the get rid of the Asian massages, you know, and then you would never, you know, this temptation would go away. And, and you know how bad it was? This guy was going to drive to Florida and do the same thing. So he was in Georgia, shot up three uh, different massage parlors, and then his intention was he was going to get in his car and go to Florida and do the same thing. So obviously there's something wrong with his mind, right? It's spiritual in nature as well. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching this video. God bless you. If you have any comments, place it below. Please, you know, don't think pornography is innocent. It ruins marriages. Uh, it ruins a child's mind. And, and before you know it, you know, it could lead to addiction. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.